what is up guys i'm back i'm back on youtube i'm back on making long format video content and today i wanted to talk about why people in spain spanish people live the longest out of the whole europe i don't know about the world but it's number one place in europe where people live the longest right and there's many many reasons why is that so a little bit about myself before we start so i've been living back and forth in spain probably around close to two years right now and yeah i traveled around spain mainly in south spain next to alicante and uh, comunidad valenciana i don't speak spanish <laughs> I only understand a few words, okay, in those two years. I don't have Spanish friends. Uh, I know some people, but I don't have friends here. And it's been an absolute blast living here. And I realized a few days ago, it's summer right now, and I realized I just love this country. Look, like It looks amazing, right? It's different, it's European, but it's absolutely amazing. And people live the longest the the life expectancy here is 83.3 years which is very high very up there compared to europe right so number one depends on you know where you live in spain but where i live in comunidad valenciana in alicante area we get 330 sunny days all right so i'm originally lithuanian and if we would get 90 or 100 sunny days a year, that would be great, right? Here, you get 330. So imagine out of 12 months in the year, you get one month, which is not sunny, if you count it like that. Or you get around, let's say, three or four days in a month, which are not sunny. All the other days, if I would make this video during December, it will look exactly the same. Maybe I would have like a hoodie on, but it would be sunny, right? And sun, like when you get sun, your mood is different. You're not stressed. You're not angry. And the whole vibe is just like, it's good. It's good, right? You're not stressing about anything. You look up, you see it's sunny everyone's enjoying their time outside right if you go to any restaurant every restaurant has an area outside area to enjoy the sun and you know beaches are pretty much going 24 7 365 you know like maybe a month or two during winter people are not going to the beach but as a lithuanian folk i do go to the beach because it's not cold for me when it's like 20 degrees right in winter for spanish people maybe it's a stretch right another thing is food and food quality mediterranean diet is actually linked to having less heart disease and um, life expectancy meaning you can actually go here and eat a very very huge sandwich with local jamon which is you know basically ham and mozzarella cheese and you will never get fat here like there's not a lot of fat people why because the food products are super fresh super tasty and you you don't need a, to add a lot of stuff to it for it to be tasty right so basically people get sun here all year long they eat well which you know when you put good food in yourself absolutely you already know you'll feel much better and when you see the sun and everyone's smiling outside right like i can see like a couple walking right now and you know they're happy they're they're enjoying the sun basically i changed the hand so the third reason is it, like where I live, right? Comunidad Valenciana is actually the healthiest place to live in the whole world. Why? Because, you know, free healthcare, 
you don't have that in America. Um, sun, good food, good medical system. And what I really think is a huge difference here is honestly, people just don't give a fuck, okay? People just live on their own terms. It's very different, you know, like if you go online, all you see is either a people like trying to escape the rat race and saying we're stuck in the matrix escape right now and the other part is like oh it's like lgbtq movements and all of that and when you actually go outside in the real world you see none of that <laughs> like no one's trying to you know escape the matrix or there's not like every other person is like lgbtq you know or anything like that so here people just don't give a fuck they sincerely live life on their own terms also there's no hustle culture so you know how you know in like new york london any other big city people are like striving for success and trying their best and it's nothing wrong with that you know i love hustling but living in this environment i realized people just you know it's okay to work as a waiter at 30 years old and you know you already failed your degree like three times but you're still going to university you're still living with your parents i'm not a fan of that but just as an, exa as an example a waiter may make like 1500 euro a month here max right they spend that money they spend that money baby they go out they eat good food they party they dance they do anything and they don't tie their career to their life they just enjoy life you know like today i went to a lawyer because i wanted to register my car here and he was like i i, I asked him like how long will it take and he was like man chill maybe it will take two weeks maybe three weeks maybe four weeks he was like it's pain it's summer relax you know like we're not in a rush here <laughs> i was like all right I'm not used to that, but it really makes you think like how we're actually supposed to live, right? Are we supposed to like be very fast and hustle and bustle, you know, and strive for success? Or maybe sometimes we should just, you know, calm down, you know, chill on a beach. Um, I'm not drinking alcohol, but drink a beer on a beach, you know? Another thing I realized is, like, I'm from um, Lithuania, right? And we're kind of different here. Uh, I mean, I'm from Lithuania. People are kind of different here in terms of how they structure their day, all right? So in Lithuania, usually, you know, you 8 in the morning, you start work or, or go to school or university or whatever you're doing, right? And you kind of finish that around five o'clock. You have dinner at five. And, you know, then you have like three, four hours of your fun time. Maybe you go to the gym. Maybe you watch a show on Netflix. You do it, anything, basically. Here in Spain, it's different, okay? So offices usually open at 10. Like, that's pretty early, right? Like, sometimes nine, okay? they usually work until 2 p.m then they have a break of like one hour or two hours and then they come back for a few hours again but they work like they don't hustle right they work really calmly they're not in a rush like they they just do things on their own terms right and naturally if, if they start work at like 10 and have a two hour break in between they'll finish work probably at 7 8 right and what happens at that point is they don't go home uh and sleep not at all what these people actually do is they go and sorry um they go and party they go have dinner at 10 p.m. right at first when i came here i couldn't believe that people are having dinner at 10 p.m i was like no way like how can you live like that 
Like, it's not healthy. That's what I thought, right? But what they do is they eat dinner and then they go to discoteca, which is like just to dance a little bit, right? They go to a random bar. They socialize with people. They don't get drunk. That's super important. So the only people you'll see drunk over here uh, where I live is if you go to a bar, like the only people who are actually drunk and you don't want to be around them is foreigners. Local people, local Spanish people, they do drink, yes, but they don't drink a lot. So if they drink one cocktail or one or two beers, like they are they don't get drunk, yeah? They get maybe a little bit loose and a little bit tipsy to socialize and dance, but they stop there, right? They don't go over and do something stupid. So what that makes, ha like, that makes the environment very friendly if you go out like people are actually friendly right people are open to talking so that's absolutely amazing and i thought about this today like you know because i went on twitter and all you see on twitter is like i said escape the matrix you know blah 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 guys the matrix everyone's talking about is in your fucking head because you're thinking oh i need to escape the matrix i need to escape the matrix you're stuck in your home you don't socialize with anyone you don't talk to people that that's the real matrix okay of course self-improvement and all of that i'm all for it right i'm an entrepreneur but come on the real matrix is in your head the world isn't as bad as you think the world is much better than it used to be 200 years ago or 100 years ago and if you take out one example from 1950s how this or xyz was better yeah but overall life quality is much better in 2023 and moving forward okay there's no such thing as oh like world government summit whatever come on realize you actually control the world around you you control your environment and my honest opinion on what every single young entrepreneur should do especially if you're male for females maybe you know you're not up for that adventure uh, because you may feel unsafe but what i would say um what i would do if I would just finish school right now and I would have zero income, but I would want to break free from the matrix, all right? And actually live life on my own terms and be happy. <sighs> Number one, figure out any way you can, any way. Not how to make 10K a month, not how to make 7K a month, not how to make 5K a month. Just figure out how to make $1,000 a month online okay that's super important online it can be anything i'm not saying you should become an entrepreneur maybe you become a freelancer or you become a video editor okay like i know very well a video editor of mine who is in india he's definitely making more than a thousand dollars and he's working cheap but he's definitely making more than a thousand dollars a month okay so choose anything choose a low level skill Okay, become an appointment setter. Make that $1,000 a month. Even better if you can push it to 1,000 euros a month, which is like 1.1K, okay? That's your step number one. Step number two, book a flight to Spain. Especially Comunidad Valenciana. Anywhere around Valencia region, anywhere between Murcia and Alicante find a city you want to be in all right find a city where people go just book a ticket book an airbnb with 1000 euros a month you can actually live here and enjoy your life okay that's pretty funny it's cheap here okay if you compare it to like the us and you know other countries in europe if you want it to be cheap it's cheap here okay People who make 3,000 euros a month here are looked as, you know, they're making a lot of money. 
which in reality isn't a lot of money. But the power of money here is different. Having 3,000 euros here in Spain and having $3,000 in the US has like five times difference, okay? Yes, the iPhone may cost the same, but in general, living expenses are so different. So if you make 1,000 euros, you can get an apartment for 450, 500 euros, maybe 600 euros. Really depends what you're looking for. Not a room, an apartment in the middle of the city or an apartment next to the Mediterranean uh, Sea, right? Then you just go to grocery shop in Mercadona, in Consum, in Carrefour, in all of those big centers, and you'll see the prices are not insane. You can actually enjoy your life here for 1,000 euros. And what I would do is I would actually go out, go out there in the world, and socialize with people meet as many people as you can you know if you're a guy try to get uh, a girlfriend or a girl you talk to who lives in spain especially if you're not familiar with this kind of lifestyle of course if you're you know from south america you know what i'm talking about here but if you're you're from anywhere else you don't know what is what this culture is okay it's absolutely different and I want you to tap into the culture. And re relatively quickly, you'll realize that to be happy and escape the matrix, you don't need a lot of money. All you need is make money online and be happy. Be happy with yourself. So go to the gym, you know, you have incredible gyms here. I go to one of the best gyms. It's a training center in the whole Europe where UFC fighters come to train, okay? It's like 70 euro a month with MMA classes. So you can't beat that, okay? So train, socialize, and then as you're here, you can start slowly scaling your business, making 1500, making 2K, making 2.5K, 3K. With 3,000 euros a month here, you can live like a king, okay? And you can have a really nice apartment. Maybe not oceanfront, but really nice apartment. Go out every single week, not get drunk, but to socialize and meet new people. Eat at the best restaurants and do that easy, okay? So that's why people live the longest here. Is the weather, is the food, is the stress-free life, okay? People don't have, uh, you know, heart failures here. Why? Well, because no one stresses here. Everyone takes their time, right? So, also, I want to mention that Spain is kind of a mix of capitalism and socialism. So it's not like Soviet Union, right? Where you can't have anything private, but they don't really encourage entrepreneurship that much, if that makes sense. Like they do, but it's not as, you know, in other countries. And that's the other reason why people are so chill. But if you're making money online, you, you're already out of it. You know, you're not involved in any political scenes or socialism, capitalism, you're making money online. You already escaped the matrix, okay? So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. I'll upload more of those uh, because by being here for almost two years, I realized, sorry, I realized so many things and uh, you should do the same thing I did because I learned so much. All right, peace. Have a great day.